It will be the only man back deep, and he'll stand at about the one-yard line. Keith Waggis pack is set to uh, kick it off out of the hold of Donovan Greer, and the kick will be taken at the goal line by Jackson. Here's the return to the five. The ten caught at the ten, slung to the ground at the nine-yard line by Billy Mitchell. Oh, Special what great teams. coverage. Special teams member Billy Mitchell down to make the tackle at the nine on Jackson, and that's where Texas now will have the uh, football first down and ten at their nine-yard line. Running backs here on the right side is Walker. On the left is Holmes. Split back formation. Morantz, and they'll hand off to Holmes coming back in this direction to the near side. Run out right about the nine at the eight. Knocked out of bounds by Mike Hendricks, the senior out of San Antonio. Check the two uh, running backs out. They move Daryl Wilson now as a single setback. Line of scrimmage again, the eight. Hash mark to the left. Two wide outs to the right side. Goes to Wilson up the middle. Hits the ten. That's it. Got two to the 10-yard line. Up the middle, they went on the handoff from Shea Moretz. Edward Jasper holding down the middle of the Aggie defensive front. The Aggies are playing it pretty close to the vest. They're going to go with some man-to-man -man coverage, but they'll have a free safety, and they'll play a lot of zone. I don't think they're going to blitz a lot today, except on running downs. Go to a shotgun. Wilson's out. Priest Holmes back in. Three wide outs to the right side of the ball. We saw a lot of that last week against SMU. He will throw Will Morentz from the end zone. Throwing back in this direction to Peakney at the 20. Incomplete flag down back at the line of scrimmage. Incomplete off the fingertips of Lavelle Peakney. Well, we didn't see anybody jump, so it appears that uh, one of the Aggies lined up in the neutral zone. 111 yards in penalties last week against SMU. They, uh, they haven't corrected the problem apparently to date. Check into the lineup now, Junior White. White in the lineup. Once again, Texas will show a shotgun and three wide outs to the right side. The running back will stay in as Priest Holmes. Snap the ball to Morantz. He's being uh, pressured from this side. Ball is thrown, and it is caught at the 25 by Lavelle Pinkney. Well, you give them the second chance and a third down, and they just complete it. And they get a first down out to the 25 to Pinkney, knocked out by Ray Mickens. It'll be Walker and Holmes as the running backs. They go from a split back to an eye formation. Motion going back to the right side of the field from Eric Jackson. Hand it off to Walker. Or is it Holmes? It'll be Holmes across the 25 to about the 26-yard line. Pickup of about a yard and a half. So call it second down. And a short nine. Split back formation once again. Ball equidistant between the hash marks. Snap it. Hand it off. It'll be on the ground. Goes to the right half. Maybe Walker on that carry. We'll see it uh, when they unpile there at the 31-yard line. Here's the third down play. Once again, they'll show a shotgun, three wide outs to the right side. And no running backs on either side of Morentz. They're flanked out as well. Straight drop, Morentz. Deep pocket, throws over the middle. It is incomplete. Intended for Eric Jackson at about the Texas 45 over the head of Jackson through his hands. And then incomplete uh, down around the Aggie 45. So now apparently they'll have to punt. There's a flag down. Offsides against AM again. Flag down on the far side of the field. A nice game up front by the Aggie defensive line. Got their defensive lineman loose. Marin's under heavy pressure. Threw the ball high. It went incomplete, but all for naught. The first down comes via the penalty. Go the eye formation. Marin's under center. Snap the ball. Keep it on the ground. Goes to the tailback. Busted out here to the left side. Not much there. They'll get about, oh, a yard. Holmes on the carry from near the 37 to about the 38-yard line. They have now two first downs in the ball game. Here's second down and nine. Single setback. Play action. Morantz rolling back right. Being chased by Shorter. Wide open over the middle to tight end Bradley at the 45. Down to the 40. Make it the 39-yard line. Bradley the tight end. Donovan Greer made the catch. Or made the stop on uh, Big Steve Bradley. That'll be his eighth reception of the season. Single setback again. That'll be uh, Wilson, the young man out of Dallas Carter. Morantz turns around to say something to him. Hash mark to the right side. Split in and a flanker with a tight end out of this formation. Here's a draw to Wilson out of the backfield. Got a yard if he's up line of scrimmage. Give him the 38-yard line. It'll be second down and 10. Once again, Texas shows an eye formation. Now they go to a split back. They'll go to the halfback right side. They'll give it off to Holmes. There's a flag down again over at the line of scrimmage. I think As Holmes goes to the 35-yard line, this about the 36-yard line, and is tripped up there. This should be a motion penalty against Texas. The, the back was not yeah. set before they snapped the football. Curtis Jackson back in the lineup now for the University of Texas. 
He and Eric Jackson are in a slot here to the left side. They have uh, Pinkney lined up as a split in on the right. Single setback. It will go to Holmes across the 40. Got a little bit of the penalty back. Four yards. They will, yeah, four yards to the 39. From the 43 to the 39 went Priest Holmes. Penalties the last two times allowed Texas to uh, keep the drive alive. Slot left, high snap, shotgun. Morant's being chased, throws over the middle. It's knocked away from behind by Dennis Allen. Incomplete down at the 30. Would not have been enough for a first down. Deployed deep for AM will be Ray Mickens. Aggie's probably figuring here it'll go sideline or into the end zone. So Texas will stall out at the Aggie 38. Two costly penalties kept that drive going all the way down to the Aggie 38-yard line. Vosick stands back at the Texas 46. Mickens is down at the 10. Going for the sideline. Nice sailor. Texas trying. Now he's in the end zone. One of the uh, Longhorns down trying to uh, catch that ball at the one, but actually he was into the end zone. It will go 38 yards on the kick by Dwayne Vosick. Aggies will start at their 20 with a single setback. Two wide outs to the left side of the formation along with a tight end split in on the right. Long count, Corey Pulling first down and 10. They had motion just before the snap of the ball. A handoff will go to Rodney Thomas, caught back at the 15-yard line. Handoff, Rodney Thomas going left, caught at the 14, a loss of six. Tony Brackens busting through, caught Rodney. Rodney, there was some moisture and rain here in the Austin area last night, and it appeared that Thomas may have uh, slipped a little bit as he was trying to make a cut going back to the far side. Well, the Aggies opened this game with uh, a single setback, and we're going to see a lot of that. They're going to move the fullback and the tailback out of the backfield. And off, no play action. Roll right, Pullock looking down, Lug wanting to go deep, has Mitchell down there, caught the ball at the 40. Caught from behind at the 33, 34-yard line. Over the middle to Brian Mitchell. And the official spot will be the Texas 34-yard line. Big pass. Trey Thomas caught Mitchell from behind by the neck of that jersey. That was good for 52 yards. They will spot it officially at the 34-yard line. And what a great pass. Nice touch by Corey Pulick. It had to be perfect, and it was. Single setback again, Rodney Thomas. Thomas will get the handoff, looks left, now cuts it back into his right, hits a man at about the 29, and will go down there at the 29-yard line. The uh, pickup of five yards for Rodney Thomas. His career rushing now is 28.94, and will go over 2,900 today, and perhaps even hit the 3,000 mark before this game's over. Ten times over 100 yards for Rodney Thomas. That was more like six yards. It'll be second down and four coming. Inside the Texas 30. Single setback, two wide outs to the right. They've covered up, uh, up tight end, not covered up. That's two flankers. Movement by Texas. Flags will fly as they snap the ball, do the Aggies, and hand off to Thomas, but they'll blow the play dead. Texas A&M, five yards. Third penalty of the ball game, and all of them have uh, two offsides and now a procedure penalty. Here's the second down play over again. Three wideouts, right side, straight drop, Pulling, being chased, got away from the initial pursuit, rolling right, throws the ball, caught at the 20-yard line. That'll be a reception by Brian Mitchell. That will be enough for the Aggies, and a first down at the Texas 20, rolling right away from the pressure. Great scrambling that time by Pulling goes 14 yards to Brian Mitchell. And they took Rodney Thomas out of the backfield and lined him up all the way out as a wide receiver to get to their trips formation, and they broke the uh, the backfield. A single setback was uh, the fullback, Detron Smith, or Cliff Gross, and we're going to see a lot of that single back and moving the uh, tailback out as a wide receiver. That's the second catch for Brian Mitchell. He's got 66 yards in receptions already. This drive has gone from the 20 to the 20. First down and 10 at the Texas 20. Play action against uh, McElroy. Rolling to the left. Pulling wide open. Looks for a corner block. He'll go to the 15. Picks up five. Does Pulling. Trying to get a corner block. The man out in front of him for the Aggies. It was one of the receivers. I don't think knew that uh, Pulling was coming up behind him. I might have been Cliff Gross. He was wide open on the run and could have picked up an extra block, but he still picked up about four yards. Hunter Goodwin is the tackle on the right side. That's the only change from the starters in the offensive line. Cliff Gross is a in a heavy eye formation. Leland McElroy is the tailback. Pressure now. Things have broken down. Pulling's going to have to run with the ball and will be caught at about the 15. Well, something broke down. I don't know if it was a busted play. All of a sudden, he tucks it and runs to the 15 on a second down and five. 
I think this was a designed running play, and either Corey turned the wrong way or the halfback went the wrong way. That would have been Leland McElroy because when he got outside, there were no receivers there for him to throw to. Brian Matthews in the lineup along with Mitchell. They go to the left. Chris Sanders, the young man from Austin, is a wide out on the right. Single setback. And rolling back, throwing the ball, will be caught by Thomas at the 10. The 5 dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Rodney Thomas. Oh, I think, yeah. Out of the hold and kicking the ball. Let's check this. It will be Kyle Bryant. Stormy Case will hold, and the extra point is on the board. So the Aggies take it from the 20 and drive 80 yards for a touchdown on a pass to Rodney Thomas in the flats on the left side and take the initial lead in this one at the 529 mark by a score of 7 to nothing. We'll take a break celebrating 100 years of football. You're listening to the Texas Aggies. Rodney Thomas just scored his 13th touchdown of the season on a 15-yard pass from Corey Pulling. Here's Waggis Pack to kick it off. Be a little short. Curtis Jackson will take it at the 13. Here comes his return back to the near side. A little bit of a seam opens up. He runs into the back of one of his blockers, takes it out to the 30. First down and 10, Texas operating right about their 30. They'll spot it actually, I guess, about the 29. Be an inside handoff as it goes to Walker. He's caught in the backfield and will be dropped for a loss at about the 27. Roderick Walker, Reggie Brown came crashing through, playing here in his hometown of Austin. Reggie Brown, a junior, two letters into this game today, has 39 tackles that are unassisted. Texas facing second down and 12. Single setback is flexed out here to the left side. Pinkney is a wide out also on the left, short side of the formation. Lawrence under center, takes the snap, five-yard pocket, sets up, throws right. Almost intercepted by Hurricane Hendricks at about the 30-yard line. The intended receiver was Eric Jackson. Hendricks hit it, knocked it away, went incomplete. Jackson was running a pass interference. No go there. Curtis Jackson back in the uh, lineup. Single setback is Priest Holmes. And now they'll go to a shotgun facing third and 12. Three wide outs on the right side of the formation. That's the open side. High snap, drop back. Morantz being chased. Now will be hit as he throws. And it's almost knocked away. Almost intercepted by Donovan Greer. Reaching out, knocking out away from Curtis Jackson. Incomplete. The Aggies very successful in getting heavy pressure on Morantz, even from the shotgun. That time a blitz from Junior White. They picked that one up, but one of the linebackers also got through and got heavy pressure on Morin. Dwayne Vosick's first punt was 38. He'll be punting this time to Billy Mitchell, who stands at the Aggie 37. Nice snap. Bat letter high. High kick. Mitchell roving over, calling for a fair catch at the 30-yard line. At the Aggie 30, a fair catch called for near the sideline by Billy Mitchell. him first and 10 at their 30. Hash mark to the right side. Detron Smith is the fullback. I believe it'll be Leland McElroy as the tailback out of an eye. And it goes to Leland. He's hit head on behind the line as he gets the handoff from Bullock. Then McElroy dropped at the 28-yard line by Chris Akins. I was watching him on the pregame warm-ups and uh, he was fired up. Akins a prototype size for a nose tackle. He's 6'1", so he's low to the ground, but he's over 300 pounds. This time they will flex Smith out to the left side. The fullback single setback McElroy. Roy play action Pullick throwing back to the left side caught for about an eight yard nine yard gain once again Brian Mitchell too shy of a first down at the Aggie 38 Cliff Gross back in the uh, lineup now for the Aggies also Detron Smith stays in the lineup the Aggies will go with the full house backfield on third down and two and a half they need the Texas 40 let's see if they get it Texas bunching everybody up on the line of scrimmage. And they'll hand off. It will be a first down. It goes to McElroy across the 40 to about the 42. Well, you kind of telegraph what you're going to do right there and dare the opponent to stop it. Texas couldn't stop the handoff to McElroy as he gets about four to the Aggie 42. 82,312 watching the ball game here at Memorial Stadium, the fourth largest crowd in Texas history. First and 10, Texas A&M operating at their 42. Single setback, McElroy. Aggies go with a light eye. McElroy up the middle, big hole across the 50. Goes to the Texas 48-yard line. It will be close. It is a first down, Texas A&M. Dwight Kirkpatrick, outside linebacker, chased the play and caught McElroy at the Longhorn 48. The Aggies end up just inches short 
on the measurements. So it's second down and about an inch and a half. Pulling under center with an eye formation behind him. And they'll hand off to Detron. And Detron Smith will get the first down as he will push his way to the Texas 47-yard line. First down, Texas A&M at the uh, Longhorn 47. Brian Matthews back in the lineup. He and Brian Mitchell, who has been hot to start the ball game with three receptions, are off to the left side, open side of the formation. Smith is flexed out. Hand off to McElroy. Big hole. He's all the way down to the 30. Across the 30 to about the 27-yard line. McElroy over the left side. Chris Carter cut him from behind. McElroy picks up to the Longhorn 27. And a first down, Texas A&M. Bullock brings him to the line of scrimmage. Rolls right. Has being chased from behind. Throws the ball to Ryan Matthews. He will be knocked out at the 22-yard line. And Frazier was the man who knocked him out of bounds. We'll pick up on the play to the, they're going to spot it, about the 22. I formation will be shown. Smith is the fullback. McElroy, the tailback, plays the tight end on the right side of the formation. Brandon Ward, the center. Pulling behind him, waits for the snap of the ball, takes it, gives it to McElroy. Nice hole, has some yardage, has a first down to the 15-yard line. Leland McElroy over the right side. Tyson King out of El Campo will make the stop. So far, everything they're trying is working. Uh, Corey is five for five in throwing, and they've been shredding the off of the defensive line for Texas. Thomas is in the lineup. Play action. Pulling, looking toward the sideline. Will throw the ball to Sanders. Sanders will make the reception. Bumped out at about the seven-yard line by Joy Ellis. That will be close for a first down, but not quite enough. It'll be about two shy. So it'll be second down and two coming for the Aggies at the Texas six-and-a-half-yard line. They will bring one of their men out of the lineup, Brian Vosick checks out. He's out of Smith. Into the lineup again for the Aggies will come Leland McElroy. So McElroy will replace Thomas as the tailback and the Aggies will go with a tight end formation. The tight ends on the left. That's the open side. Now Pulling was just giving a hand signal behind his rump to uh, Leland McElroy. Goes to Mac again. Mac hit at the five and will be close for a first down. Let's see where they spotted. And then Smith and Gross along with McElroy. Third and inches at about the Texas five. Texas has too many men on the field. He just got Carter back off the field before they run the play. Motion from Smith. Handoff will go to McElroy. He will bump into one of his own men. He bumped into uh, Petron Smith. Got the first down at about the three. He said Smith. He hit him from the high, which is not fair to uh, Detron to say that uh, McElroy knocked him over, but he wasn't uh, ready for that, and he did a somersault almost into the end zone, Detron Smith. First and goal at the three-yard line. AM on its second possession with 27 seconds to go here in the first quarter. And they'll stay with their big people, the two tight ends and two fullbacks in the game. Gross is the fullback, McElroy the tailback. Smith is flexed out to the left, goes in motion right. Snap it, pitch it to McElroy, looking for the right corner. Can he get there? He's working his way in for a touchdown from the three, Leland McElroy. Sixth touchdown of the season for the big Mac attack. Kyle Bryant with Stormy Case to a hole. Cole Reinerts is the deep snapper. Extra point attempt coming up. It's on its way. And he hit it. And the Aggies now lead 14 to nothing. 14 nothing with nine seconds to go in the first quarter here in Austin. AM over Texas. We'll take a break. Celebrating 100 years of football. You're listening to the Texas Aggies. They're sitting in the new locations in Austin for $5 each. And the regular price for their seat. Keith Waggispack set to kick it off for the Aggies. His last kick a little bit short. Sidewinder headed for the left side. That will go into the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 20-yard line. Here's Dave Elmendorf. We've got nine seconds left in the first quarter, and the Aggies lead Texas by a score of 14 to nothing. And Texas has a new quarterback, James Brown, the freshman redshirt from Beaumont, who has attempted 49 passes with 32 completions. Has rushed 19 times for 73 yards. Shows up for the third Texas possession of the ball game. Maybe the last play. Here's a flag. They will uh, blow the whistles, throw the flags. The play was a pass back to the right off the arm of Brown. Five-yard mark off. Move it back to the 15. First and 15 for the Horns. What Brown brings to this offense is extra mobility. He's got good quickness, and the Aggies will have to be careful to contain him. Wilson and Walker are the running backs. It's a split-back formation. Long count Brown. May have audible here. Short drop. 
will throw as he is hit. It's going to be a two-yard completion to about the 18-yard line. We'll call it a three-yard completion on the far side of the field. Second and about 12 from the Texas 18. Brown now the quarterback. Two wide outs on the left. Aggies threatening the blitz. And they are coming, but it's picked up. And the pass is out in the flats. Caught at the 21. Skips away from one man. That's That'll be uh, Eric Jackson. And we'll go to about the 25-26 yard line. Longhorns with the ball at their 26. Brown has an eye formation behind him. Walker is the lead back. Snap it. Looking to the right. Rolling in this direction. Brown looking down the field. Throws. And it's going to be caught at the Texas 34 for a first down by Lavelle Pinckney. At the 34, a Texas first down to Pinckney. Texas loads it up here on the right side of the formation with a tight end and a flanker. Now a split back formation with Brown under center. And he's going to roll back, neck and reverse, back to the right. 35, caught, got away from a man, will now die, fumble the ball. Was he down? I think Texas had it anyway at the 39-yard line. Fitzgerald, the tight end, got lost. He was going left. They set him up right, split backs. Straight drop, throwing as he is hit. He throws to nobody, threw it into the far sideline, wow. and it's caught by one of the Aggies. There wasn't a uh, Texas Longhorn anywhere on the left side of the hash mark. by an Aggie coach over on the <laughs> far side. There was nobody near, of course, the Aggies pleading the case that this should be intentional grounding because Brown was under heavy pressure. Incomplete pass. It'll go down in the book. So it's third down and about five coming. Slot left. Peek me the wide out. Here's Brown looking in that direction. He will uh, throw the ball as he is hit. And it's off the fingertips of Pinkney incomplete at the Texas 49-yard line. He was racked a big one by Larry Walker as he threw the ball. He will take the snap standing back at the Longhorn 24. Ash Wright. Ags not coming. Kicks it off to the right side. Good punt. Mitchell should let it go. And it will hit at the one and now into the end zone. Oh, that was dangerous. That started to take one of those sideways rolls. You'll find KHHD at 93.3 on your FM dial. In the first quarter, Oklahoma State 3, Colorado 0. Thomas. Aggies will hand off on a first and 10 from their 20 to Rodney Thomas. He carries across the 25 to about the 26th. Second and a long three. 12 minutes to go here in the first half. Single setback. Thomas again looking for a lead block. Turning on the corner. We'll get to about the 29-yard line. Maybe the 28. Single setback. 4-3 on the 25-second clock. Roll right, throw the ball. He's got a man and dropped at the 34 to Brian Mitchell. Off his fingertips, rolling back to the sideline, being chased over there by Trey Thomas. Here is Sean Terry, 38.6 average. Kicks away. It's a high one. Fair catch being called for by Carter at the Texas 36-yard line. 36, Chris Carter, their return man. Brown stays in at quarterback. They show a uh, eye formation and then go to the split box. Lucas and Holmes roll left Brown. Nice sets up, throws the ball, and it will be caught on the sideline by Eric Jackson. Close for a first down at about the 45. He'll be a yard shy. A good throw and a pickup of nine for Texas. Pinkney goes left. Texas will go from a split back this time to an eye formation. James Brown will pitch it, going back to Holmes, being chased. He is going to be cornered, knocked down as he crosses the 40. Will be a loss on the play. Back to the 43-yard line. Texas trying to sweep that time, and they lose two yards. Two tight ends. One of them lines up in the backfield now. Both shift up onto the line of scrimmage. Two flankers and a single setback with the two tight ends. Third and three. Texas operating from their 43-yard line. Brown takes the snap. Keep it on the ground. They will pick up a first down and a little bit more. Holmes across the 50 down to the 46. For the Aggie 46 goes Priest home. And they had the three yards to go. You'd anticipate a pass. Instead, they went with a fullback lead and picked up big yardage down into Aggie territory at the 47-yard line. Under 10 minutes to go here in the second quarter. AM leading 14 to nothing. Three wideouts to the left of the ball. Straight drop Brown. Deep pocket. Looking. Now he's being forced to run. Coming back to the right. Hit from behind. Will fumble the ball. Picked up in midair by the Aggies. Down the sideline. And it's going to be Brandon Mitchell, I believe. He has just returned a fumble that he picked up in midair for a touchdown. Oh, what a play. James Brown never had a 
chance. Antonio Armstrong hit Brown from behind as he had cocked his arm. The ball went straight up in the air and was caught as it was on its way down by Brandon Mitchell. He's almost had at least two or three interceptions this season and returns it down the sideline for an Aggie touchdown. That was Texas' best drive of the day. The extra points on its way. The kick is good. And now A&M leads by a score of 21 to nothing. We'll take a break. Celebrating 100 years of football. You're listening to the Texas Aggies. Looked like a sumo wrestler's race down the <laughs> sideline. Good block by Larry Walker. Here's Waggis Pack pooch kick. Fair catch at the 21 by Texas. At the 21, a fair catch on the pooch kick by Keith Waggis Pack. And now the Aggies will look at the Texas uh, offense once again. At the 22-yard line, first and 10, they're 22. Pitch it to the deep back. That will be Wilson. He will fight for the 25, goes to about the 26-yard line, and they're still going as they push that big pile of humanity across the 27 to about the 28. Brown stays in as the uh, quarterback. Kenny Harrison now is one of the running backs, and Wilson is the other. Straight drop by Brown. Sets up, throws the ball over the middle, tried to hit Wallace. A reserve uh, wide out at about the 35. We went right through his hand. I formation. Walker the lead back, Wilson the tailback. Now they switch to the uh, split backs with a slot right, tight end left. Straight drop again by Brown. Sets up. Will throw the ball. Not a good pass. Incomplete. Way into the Texas bench trying to hit Pinckney. Billy Mitchell standing at the Aggie 30. Vasek will take the snap from center at the Texas 13-yard line. On a fourth down and about four. Has the snap. a and coming up the middle. He got the kick away under a lot of pressure. Mitchell calling for a fair catch. Will let it hit at the 20. Rolling at the 1. And it goes into the end zone. Touchback into the end zone at the goal line. It hit the goal line. And it'll bring it out to the 20. Texas fans say it didn't, but it did. Only one other conference game being played today at halftime. Rice leads SMU 14 to nothing. AM first and 10. Single setback. Pulling will air it out. Throws it. Caught at the 22 by Gross. Breaks the tackle. Goes to the 30. He's at the 35. He's at the 40. He's at the 45 and tackled at the 45. Cliff Gross. Somebody tried to arm tackle the big consolidated uh, fullback as he caught the ball at the 22. He broke that with ease and they'll bring the ball out to the 46 and there is a flag down back at the 15 yard line. And they will march off half the distance to the goal back to the, that's a 10 yard penalty anyway, back to the 10. Aggies come out, they'll keep it to on the ground as it goes to McElroy. Spins at the 15 off of one tackling. It's about seven there. McElroy about the 17 on a first down and 20. Three wide outs on the left side of the ball and a single setback for the Aggies. Pullock takes it, almost fell down. He throws the ball trying to get it to Detron Smith. As he was falling down, he tripped, started going backwards and then tried to get it to Detron Smith. Corey's foot got stepped on. Center of the guard will step on the quarterback's foot and he'll lose his balance. Three wideouts on the left side. Matthews, Sanders, and McElroy on the right side is Mitchell. Straight drop, Pulling sets up. Time to throw. Now forced out of the pocket. Rolling back to his left. Throws the ball in and out of the hands of Ryan Matthews at the 28. It goes incomplete. Matthews should have made the catch. It would have been a first down, but instead the Aggies will punt. John Terry takes the uh, snap, kicks the ball, gets a great Aggie roll, hits at the Aggie 45, now rolls all the way down inside the 30, down to the 29-yard line. He got about a 21-yard roll after it hit about the uh, 50 on a punt that was a little bit off to the left. That'll go as 53 yards for uh, Sean Terry. Texas will keep Brown at quarterback with a single setback. First down and 10 at the Longhorn 29. Goes on the ground to Wilson. Bottled up. Got a yard. Breaks the tackle. Got another yard as he goes to the 31-yard line. They break the huddle. Come to the line. Walker's the lead back. Wilson the tailback. Showed an eye. Now go to split backs. Brown under center. Takes the snap. Sets up. Under pressure, throwing the ball, has Wilson, and Wilson will make the catch all the way down at the 41-yard line. Out of bounds at the Aggie 40. Nice catch by Wilson. Larry Walker chasing the running back out of the backfield. Daryl Wilson has just caught his first pass of the season. The freshman redshirt out of Dallas at 6-1, 2 Time remaining, 6-26 until a halftime. Split backs, Brown under center. Long count, takes the snap, state drop. 
sets up, under pressure, throws, incomplete. Trying to get it over the middle to Eric Jackson. Ball goes incomplete at about the 35-yard line. Eric Jackson. Eric Jackson, uh, yes, he has two for 16 yards. Right, second down and 10 coming. About an eight-yard pocket. Throw the ball. Incomplete. Intended receiver was Curtis Jackson at the Aggie 32. Way too high. It was a rifle throw by Brown out of about an eight-yard pocket. And if they don't pick up the first down, it'll be interesting if they get any yardage out of this at all to see if they might uh, attempt the field goal with the wind at Dawson's back. Or Shotgun. go for the first down. Shotgun formation. Straight drop. Now rushed out of the pocket. Brown headed for the 40, headed for the sideline. Knocked down at about the 37-yard line. Across the 40 to the 37. Nailed in the middle of the back by the Aggies' Reggie Graham. Now this is an area of the field where you've got to be very careful that you don't... Uh, give up a, a trick play on the on the punting team. I'm surprised they're going for the punt here. This would be about a 54-yard attempt with the wind. Well, all of the uh, Longhorn coaches up here in the stands disagreed with this. They were given a uh, given it a loud boo. Here he is, Vasek punting the ball. High kick and it looks like Texas will field it and they will at the 8-yard line. Aggies got out of the way. Now we've got a flag down at about the 22. Texas was thinking is that we'll punt this down and get uh, the Aggies backed up deep in their own territory. It backfired with this personal foul penalty. It moves the ball out to the 23-yard line, and the Aggies will have decent field position. Coach Slocum answers your questions about Aggie football. Call every Thursday night from 7 until 8, live from Chili's and College Station at 1-800-347-4788. Ags run the play. It's a, a, a pitch back here to the left as they go to Thomas Thomas across the 25 to about the 26 yard line on a pitch left pulling under center single setback is the senior out of Groveton Rodney Thomas Brandon Ward is the Aggie center waiting for the right number to come out of the mouth of Corey Pulling before he snaps it he does gives it to Thomas caught in the backfield nice play by the Longhorns Tony Brackens AM breaking the huddle, coming to the line of scrimmage, showing three wide outs on the left side of the ball and a single setback. Tied in is to the right, closed side of the field. And they're going to set up a screen to Thomas. Has a little running room to the 30. Caught from behind as he goes across the 35 to about the 38. Screen left to Rodney Thomas. Great call by the Aggies against a blitzing Texas defense. It'll be a first down and 10 from the 38. Play action. Pulling, rolling right, wide open in front of him. Gives a pump fake. Now he's going to throw as he does, and it goes inter no, incomplete out of bounds. Intercepted by Texas, but out of bounds. They just ruled it out of bounds. The ball was caught on the sideline by the Longhorns' Chris Carter, but the official there said he was out of bounds. Single setback. Will be Leland. They'll give the handoff to McElroy. The outside is his. He's at midfield and knocked into the Texas bench at about the 46-yard line. Texas was caught for a personal foul that moved it out across the 20 to about the 23. And now the Aggies are turning this into a promising drive. Play action. Pulling. Throws the ball. Caught by Smith at the 30 to the 25 to the 22. Detron Smith now operating at the Longhorn 22. As they hand off, they'll go again. It was like Rodney. Rodney on the carry. Hit pretty hard as he gets to about the 15. We'll pick up near yeah, almost uh, eight yards on that. Two men flexed out to the right. One just behind the uh, tight end on the right side of the formation, but lined up in the backfield. Now motion from Detron Smith. He's going to come all the way to the short side. The handoff goes to Rodney Thomas, dancing around in the backfield, breaks the tackle. He has a first down, and he falls all the way down to the five-yard line. Broke out of what would be a tackle at the 10 and used his hand to keep the knees from hitting the turf and fell down finally just outside the Texas 5. First and goal, Texas A&M. This drive started at the Aggie 23. It's the ninth play of the drive. First and goal at the five. The handoff's in the backfield. Bouncing outside, Thomas looks for the line of scrimmage, and that'll be about all he gets. He's pushed out at right about the five-yard line. Second and goal from the five. Single setback with a tight end left. Thomas in motion back to the right side. The lone setback was gross. They're rolling right, looking to throw the ball. Lops it toward the end zone. Carter caught it out of bounds. It's third down and goal. Just outside the five with 2.06 to go. Pulling hash mark left under center. Brandon Ward, single setback. Rodney Thomas open sides to the right. Long count pulling. 
Motion coming here from Gross back to the left side. They'll, and that's play action. And here's Pullock. He is sacked back at the 10. Sacked at the 10. Corey Pullock by Tony Bracken. Play action to the left side and then looking back to the right. And uh, Brackens would have none of that as he will sack Pullock back at the 10. Stormy Case will hold. Cole Reinerts is the deep snapper. This would make it 24 to nothing with about a minute and 20 to go until halftime. It's spotted down. The kick's on its way, and the kick is good. Bryant just nailed it. He had missed uh, the previous four field goal attempts before he made that one. In the third quarter, Penn State 20, Indiana 7. He's now 12 out of 19. Has two extra points today. Squib kick by Waggis Pack. Picked up at the 20 by Eric Jackson. Back across the 30. Falls to about the 33-yard line. And they will immediately go to a shotgun with a running back on either side. High snap controls it. Sets the pocket at the 22. Screen back to the left to Walker. He's flying to the 35 to the 40. Ankle tackle to the 45. Out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Into the Aggie bench he went. Here's the mark off, and the ball will be moved just inside the Texas. Texas 35. Texas with a hash mark to the left and a split back formation out of a shotgun. Morantz will stand at the 30 to take the snap from center. Now drops back five more yards. Throws back over the middle. It will be caught by Pinckney at the 45 for a first down. James Brown had come in for three series for the Longhorns and now it's Morantz back at quarterback. The young man out of San Angelo. Sophomore with a letter. Shotgun. He stands at the 40. Line of scrimmage the 45. Drops back five yards. Is hit as he throws, and he throws it way downfield, incomplete at the 20, and he got blasted, and he's still not up. Stopped the clock at 44 seconds to go. He shotgun formation again. Takes the snap at the 40. Drops back to the uh, 35. Now he's forced out of the pocket. Will have to run to the 50. Trying to get a first down. He scampers out of bounds, but did not get the first down. To the line of scrimmage come the Longhorns. Again, they will have a shotgun. Line of scrimmage once more is about the 46. Need about a yard. They'll throw the ball. Moritz again will throw incomplete. Skipped it into the turf. Here's fourth down on the yard for the Longhorns with 32 seconds to go until halftime. Moritz will go from a shotgun. Need about a yard. Moritz takes the snap. Quarterback sneak. And he will just step into the pocket, run up to the 45, and go down there and has a first down. Longhorns have one timeout remaining, first and 10 at the Aggie 45. Straight drop, Morantz throws the ball as he's hit, and it's over the head reach of Pickney down about the three. Texas again with one timeout remaining, but the incomplete stopped the clock at 21 seconds. No shotgun, split back formation, line of scrimmage, the 45 on second and 10. Straight drop, eight-yard pocket, throw it over the middle, incomplete, almost intercepted by the Aggies at about the 33 by Dennis Allen. 16 seconds to go until the half. Shotgun again. Morantz takes the snap at midfield, throws back to the left. It is incomplete. That went over the Aggie bench and out onto the track in front of the stands on the far side. It will be a 62-yard effort. 62-yard effort, angled back to the right. Chad Lucas is to hold. Snap spotted down. Kick is on its way. It looks like it is just short, short just oh, under the crossbar with six seconds to go. And the Aggies now will get the ball at the 45-yard line. Here's first down and 10 for the Aggies with six seconds to go until halftime. At their 45 after the 62-yard field goal was missed. They're going to air it out. Pullick sets up. Throwing way deep here on the sideline to Danny McCray. Out of bounds. Incomplete at the 15. And time has run out. We're at halftime with the score. Texas A&M 24 and Texas nothing.
Rodney Thomas with nine carries for 23 yards. And Texas kicks off to start the second half. It will be taken by uh, Mitchell at about the 20. Breaks out at the 30. He's out to the 35. He's fighting for the 40. <laughs> He's still on his feet at the 43-yard line. <laughs> that was a pooch kick taken by Mitchell away from McElroy. First play of the second half of the Aggies up 24 to nothing. First and 10 at the Aggie. 43 goes to Thomas. Stutter steps back and forth, left and right, and then gets a yard to the 44. Thomas caught two for 31 yards and a touchdown. His longest was 16. Second down and nine. Rodney Thomas again wrapped up as he crosses the 45 to the 46. This is the biggest lead the Aggies have had at halftime. They were up by 17 over Southern Mississippi, 27 to 10. Today they're up 24 to nothing. Here's the third down. AM was four of six on third downs in the first half. Three wideouts left side. Pocket back to the right. Throw the ball. Tapped away at the Texas 45. Intended for Sanders. Tapped away by Joy Ellis. And Texas that time with, a, with heavy pressure on Corey Pulley coming with the blitz, but Ellis with good coverage. Sanders then stretched out trying to get it. A little low on the snap. It's been picked up now by uh, Terry, and he has just hit one that's going to hit at the five and is going to be tapped back at the oh. one and then back inside <laughs> the end zone. Here's Texas, and they will open with uh, Morentz at quarterback. Straight drop, sets the pocket at the 12, throws over the middle. Oh, caught oh, and dropped wow. by one of the Aggies at the 24-yard line. That was caught and dropped by Reggie, Reggie Brown. Brown. Walker, one of the running backs. Wilson is the other. Morentz play action. Sets a screen to the left to Wilson. The Aggies have got it red, but he's going to get five out of this. And it's a flag. flag against the Aggies. They hit Wilson out of bounds in the Aggie bench. Uh, that was a, that, not a smart play at all. Oh, you're right. It's a useless play. It costs Big, the Aggies 15 yards. Bigney goes out to the left side. Split back formation. Slot to the right. Morentz under center. Straight drop again. Pressure over the middle. Caught by Jackson. He's across the 50s down to about the 43-yard line. Walker's the lead back. Wilson is the, the uh, tailback out of this formation. And it's going to go to Wilson. He's starting out to the right side, bottled up. He'll get about a yard at the most out of that to the 42. Daryl Wilson. Split backs again. Wilson's the right half. Walker's the left half. Slot left. Straight drop. Deep pocket. Morantz will be hit as he throws the ball. It's tapped up in the air and then caught on a deflection at the 37-yard line. The Aggies defender tapped the ball up. They have been Mickens, and then it was caught by Curtis, Curtis Jackson. Jackson. And a flag down at the 31-yard line. Defensive pass interference against Texas A&M's declined. RC is trying to say something to the officials from the sideline. Now he's, he's talking to the back judge. He's saying the clock hasn't, isn't starting, and they haven't started the clock. They didn't start the clock after the last play. 12.23 to go. And now R.C. has gotten the attention of Bud Alexander going over to the sideline, and he's saying that the clock has not started. It didn't start after the last play, which was a running play, stopped in bounds. It's a way to stretch the game. Yeah, it is. No time now has been taken. Now they're rolling the clock. And it's working its way down to the 12-15 mark. Texas breaks the huddle and comes to the line of scrimmage. They have a tight end here on the right side. That'll be Bradley. I formation. Pitch it to Walker. Going to throw a halfback pass. And he will skip it into the turf in front of uh, Moritz. It goes incomplete. He was throwing it back to his quarterback. Did we see that back in the Holiday Bowl? Lucas is the halfback right. Walker is the halfback to the left. Tight end left. Straight drop Moritz. He's going to set up a... Not's going to go deep to the end zone. And it's going to be off the fingertips of Dennis Allen in the end zone. Intended down there for Eric Jackson. There is a flag down at the uh, area where the pocket had set up. Well, twice now on this drive, personal fouls against AM. 15 yards will be marked off. Texas driving for its first points. Defense now has watched Texas drive from their 20. Here's the pitch going to the right to Wilson. Cuts it back inside. He will uh, get about two yards to near the 11. Clock will be under 11 minutes in the third when the ball is snapped. Single setback. 
Lorenz, play action, rolling back to the right. It's wide open. He may run this one in. He will get down to about the two before he is caught. That's going to be close for a first down. He elected to run with the ball. Reggie Graham was there for the stop. It was wide open down the fields outside the hash mark. Also, Larry Walker was there, as was Reggie Brown, and they have carried for a first down, first and goal, Texas. Ball is inside the two, but not the one. First and goal from the one and a half. They'll call it the two-yard line. Split backs with two tight ends, and it goes to Wilson. Wilson goes to the one-yard line. They went up the middle. They come out with a stacked eye. Goes to the third man through. Wilson, touchdown, untouched over the left side. So 30 yards in penalties will help that drive. And Texas will score with 9.57 to go in the third and make it 24-6 to before the point after. Let's see if they're good on the extra point. Ball will be snapped, spotted down. The kick is up. And they hit it. So it's 24-7 to at 9.57 in the third. We'll take a break. Celebrating 100 years of football, you're listening to the Texas Aggies. 24-7 is the score. Texas about to kick off following their touchdown drive, which Dave Elmendorf will review here in a minute. And it is a sidewinder that will be taken by McElroy at the 15. 20, 25, breaks out of there as he crosses the 35, gets his balance at the 50. He's going to score. He's got one man to beat. Can he beat him at the 10? Drug out at the three-yard line. Drug out at the three. No flags. Apparently everything in order. He lost his balance at the 40, used his hand to regain his balance, and took it to the one-yard line as the official mark. He had one man to beat down the sideline, and it was Victor Frazier who was the only man who could catch him and just barely did at the one-yard line. He's just returned it down to the uh, Texas one. He is absolutely amazing, and away he goes. Here are the Aggies first and goal from the one. It will uh, be a dive by McElroy. Did not get in. He's inside the one, but not the goal line. Second and goal coming. Here's second down and goal. Full house backfield. Two tight ends, McKeon and Clay. Smith, handoff, Rodney Thomas. He's caught back at the two. It's going to be second and third and goal from the two, maybe the three-yard line. Here's the third down and goal. Full house backfield again. Started at the one. Now it's been pushed back to the three. Motion again from Smith. They may be taking it wide right. They are. Thomas trying to string it out. Cuts back inside. Touchdown, Rodney Thomas. Cut it back to his left. Started wide right. TD, Rodney Thomas will be his second of the day. What a nice run by McElroy, especially when he uh, was able to regain his balance when it looked like he was going down at the 40. He broke out of a little crowd at the 50. Here's the extra point, and the extra point is good by Kyle Bryant. So the Aggies strike big. They come back and answer that uh, touchdown drive of 80 yards by Texas. You get a little concerned sometimes uh, when opponents start to come back, especially on a drive where you help... uh, the opponent's cause with the two uh, penalties of 15 each. Then you come right back. Watch the Aggie score. Here's the kickoff return from the nine. Going to be uh, ooh, good. Lick. Curtis Jackson across the 20 to about the 23-yard line. That made it 24 to seven before the Aggies answering score. Official spot is the 24. Morentz will throw on first down. Sets the pocket of the 15. Throws back in this direction. Nice catch by wow. Eric Jackson at the 34-yard line. That will be enough for a first down. Training staff will come over and have a look at uh, Greer after that play. First down and 10, Longhorns at their 34, hash right. Morentz to throw again on first down. Sets the pocket, throws back to the right, lofts it for the sideline. It is deflected and incomplete. Oh, good coverage by Larry Walker. Texas trying to get uh, pass interference on the call. Second down and 10. Morentz under quarterback, split box. He's rolling left. He's being chased. He's going to be caught and sacked back at the 20 by the Aggies. Is that Jasper? Uh, Maybe David Maxwell. I can't tell if it's 88 or 98. And Donovan Greer back in the lineup now. Third down and 23. The ball at the 21. Texas throws from a shotgun. Deep pocket. 
Throws back here to the right side to Walker. Has it at the 20. To the 28-yard line. And then Jersey tackled at the 28. Walker out of the backfield. Caught the pass. Line of scrimmage. He is the Longhorn 29. Back at the 30 for the Aggies. Billy Mitchell. And the punt has been blocked. And picked up in midair by the Aggies. Trent Driver. Trent Driver picks it up. Blocked by, by Dennis, Dennis Allen. Allen. Dennis Allen blocks the punt. And then Driver picked it up in midair. And fell down at the 26-yard line. And the Aggies have it at point blank range offensively. The Aggies are back in business. Blocked punt by Texas A&M. The special teams doing a great job. And here's the play, and it goes to Biggins. Biggins spins off one man. He's down to the 22. Biggins to the 22. It'll be second down and six. Aggies operating at the Longhorn 22. In the backfield again to Biggins. Biggins across the 20 to the 18. That will be too shy of a first down by Wilbert Biggins. And Rodney Thomas will come in at the tailback position now. And to Rodney Thomas. Started inside. Jersey tackle. Back at the 20. We will see the Aggies lose two on the play. Now apparently a field goal by Kyle Bryant. He will spot this one down at the 27. Stormy Case will hold. Cole Reinerts is the deep snapper. Angled back to the right. A 37-yard effort from the 27-yard line. Snap. Spotted down. Kicks on its way. Sidewinder that hits the upright on the left side and kicks back out onto the field of play. Rolling free at about the eight-yard line. And his whistle dead. 4.25 left in the third quarter. Get the ball back at the 20. Single setback, Daryl Wilson. Moritz may have called an audible. He has two flankers either side of the ball. Goes to Wilson. Sprinting out here to the left side. And he then cuts it back to the right. Second down and nine. Texas operating at their 21-yard line. They send a motion man, Eric Jackson, to the right side. And under a lot of pressure, they throw the ball. And it's caught by the tight end, Bradley. Hit as he's throwing is Moretz. Bradley makes the catch at the 23. Now it will be a third down for the Longhorns. They will need seven. 3-14. Third quarter, 31 to 7. Shotgun formation. Third down and seven. Texas from their 23. Set the pocket back at the 12. Throw to the sideline to Pinkney. Flag is down. And he made the reception at the 45 and went out of bounds. I think this may be offensive pass interference. I, I see Donovan too. Greer. I don't know how he got that kind of. Well, no, uh, he's clapping now. Pinkney is saying it's against uh, the Aggies. They'll uh, decline the penalty, take the reception at the Aggie 46. So once again, now two possessions in a row, they are moving the ball, and they cross midfield. Texas with the football. Walker's the left half, Wilson the right half. Tied in Bradley on the left side of the formation. Morantz will put it up in the air. Throws as he is hit, has a man open, and it's incomplete. Pass interference against the Aggies, against Ray Mickens, down at the 14-yard line. Intended for Eric Jackson. Mickens ran into him. It's a little close at best. Mickens uh, right in front of the receiver and going for the football, but the official saw it as interference. It'll cost the Aggies 15 yards and move it down to the 31-yard line. Eventually on a third down and three, scored on a Rodney Thomas run. Straight drop again, Morentz sets the pocket, throws the ball. It is almost intercepted on two He's the last of which was Ray Mickens diving for the ball. High formation. Lorenz under center. They'll pitch it left to Wilson. Started outside, cuts it back inside. Will pick up yardage down about the 26. That was second and 10. Tight ends on the left. Walker's the left half. Holmes is the right half. Not seen him here with running the ball in the second half. Straight drop, Morantz. Lofts one. Going toward the end zone. Off the fingertips of Peekney at the three incomplete. Going toward the end zone, Pinkney stretching out, trying to bring it down. Couldn't do it. Fourth and five at the Aggie 26-yard line. Lorentz with two tight ends and a single setback. Aggies jumped off sides. They throw the ball. Caught. They'll stop the play. AM was off sides, or were they drawn off? No, I think they were drawn off. They stopped this play. There was no contact that I know of. I think this will go against Texas. It is against Texas. Shotgun, fourth and ten, 31 yard line. Morentz waiting for the snap. He has it. Sets the pocket at the 40. Has time to throw under some pressure. He will be sacked back at the 42. Quarterback sacking on downs. The Aggies get the ball at the 42 yard line. Well, I see Keith Mitchell and Antonio Armstrong met back there at Shea Morenz. 
Check out what's new at your Texas Ford dealer, but only the best will do. It's Texas Ford and you. Aggies will come out. They'll show a light eye. The handoff will go to McElroy. He runs right up the middle of the field behind his center, Brandon Ward. Carries to the 48-yard line. And Wilbert Biggins in there with him. Yep, so no uh, no fullback in this formation. Three wideouts on the left side of the ball. Wide out right is Sanders. He's the lonesome in in that direction. Straight drop, Pulling. They set up a screen here on this side. Comes back to Thomas. Breaks the tackle at the 50. Goes to the 45. Texas side of the 50. Has a first down, Rodney Thomas. It was Robert Reed that he put the big uh, move on. Reed fell down. Bit on the first move. Light eye, play action, throw the ball back to the right side, aiming toward the sideline, and it is off the fingertips of the intended receiver, Brian Mitchell, at about the 25-yard line. 35 seconds to go in the third quarter. Clock stopped on the incomplete. Second down and 10, a draw out of the backfield. That will go to, is that a fullback? I think it's Cliff Gross. Cliff Gross it is, to the 42-yard line. Goes Cliff Gross. Second and 10 on that play, pick up three. Going to go to the fourth with the Aggies in control here at 31-7 to with 15 minutes of playing time left in Austin. Third down and seven. The Aggies operating at the Longhorn 42-yard line. First play of the fourth quarter. Rolling right, pulling after the snap. Throws the ball. Caught by McElroy, and he's going to be shy of a first down. Maybe close here. Oh, it's going to be spot. real close, I at think. At the 35-yard line, he will go down right in front of the Texas bench. So it's fourth in a matter of just inches. Full house backfield, two tight ends. Pulling. Waiting for the snap as Smith goes in motion. They're going to pitch it to the left. It's going to go to Thomas looking for the corner. He will pick up a first down as he goes across the 35 down around the 31. Could be. I won't say it is, but it could be a knockout punch here if they could get a touchdown on this possession. Here's the handoff to Thomas up the middle. He's got some yardage as he goes across the 25 to about the 24 against the Longhorns. Second down and uh, short. Rodney Thomas again bottled up. He'll lose the yard at the 25. I want to say hello to a visitor to the booth, a former teammate of mine, Lawrence McCutcheon, who is now a scout for the Rams here looking at some of the talent uh, for these two ball clubs. Here's the third down play. Pulling, rolling right, pressure from behind, throws the ball, and it's caught at the 25. No first down. Oh, another close one. They'll be about, uh, oh, looks like about two yards short of the first down. We'll see what uh, R.C. Slocum will decide to do here. And here comes Kyle Bryant in. Deep snapper, Cole Reinerts will be out over the ball. Hash mark right, angle back to the left, spotted down at the 32. It is a 42-yard effort. His last kick of 37 hit the uh, left upright. And then came back into the field to play. This is a 42-yard effort. Angle right, spotted down, kicks on its way, has the distance, and uh, this one is good. He just put three more on the board. It is 13th of the season. 13 of 21 now for Kyle Bryant. 42-yard field goal by the young man from AM Consolidated. The freshman red shirt. Curtis Jackson is the return man at the three. Waggis Pack, sidewinder, headed for the left side, has a chance to get into the end zone, and it does with a wind at his back. The Aggie defense stopped uh, Shea Morenz on a sack on downs. They took it at the 43-yard line. They moved 32 yards in 10 plays, and then they got the 42-yard field goal from Kyle Bryant. They lead it 34-7. Morenz with play action, screen to the offensive left side. It was caught it in the backfield at the 18, gets it out to the 22. And it was Wilson, the running back, who caught that ball. It was tackled by Mickens. Second down and eight, single setback. Counter play to the 23-yard oh, nice line on a handoff to Walker. Stopped there by uh, Larry Walker and also Keith Mitchell.
as we get back to play, the Aggies run a first down and 10 play from their 28. The pocket collapsed. Pulling then started to run out of the pocket, got to the 30, laid head against the horns after Pulling was down at the 30, ran out of the pocket for two. Total offense now, 282 for A&M 259. Texas handoff in the backfield, tripped up, and McElroy will lose a yard. Second down and 11. Aggies on their way to winning their fourth consecutive game over the Longhorns here before better than 82,000 fans, some of which are leaving us now. Timeout will be called as Pulley didn't like what was happening at the line of scrimmage. Rice has beaten SMU, we understand, 17 to 10. Second down and 11. Here's a screen left to McElroy. He's caught in the backfield. The Aggies will lose another yard. It was second and 11. Pulling under center with Detron Smith beside him. McElroy is out in the slot right. Rolling right, Pulling being chased, throws the ball to the sideline. Not a first down, caught it, went out of bounds. Brian Mitchell at the Texas 48. Sean Terry will punt the ball. Standing at the Aggie 37-yard line, 38. Pressure up the middle, kick off to the right side. Will be taken at the 6. Here comes the return, back to the 15. And then uh, dropped by Kyle Maxfield, I believe. At the, That's who it was. the 30 yard line. First and 10. Brown now at quarterback. Morenz is out at the 649 mark. Texas at their 20, 23 yard line. They'll keep it on the ground as they hand off to uh, Walker. Walker across the 25 to the 26. Wilson and uh, Walker are the running backs. Brown takes the ball. Five yard drop. Now forced out of the pocket, going to have to run. The Aggies are closing on him as he goes across the 30 to the 32-yard line. That will not be enough for a first down. Show an eye formation, and Brown will keep for the first down on the quarterback keeper. Just pushed in behind his center and goes to about the 34-yard line. First down and 10 across the 33, Texas into the field. Brown, straight drop. Looking to set up a screen, now he won't do it. Throws over the uh, left side and then caught at the 43 and a nice catch by Eric Jackson. James Brown to the line of scrimmage with Wilson as his lone running back. The last time it was uh, third and short, he snuck for it. Snaps it and stops the play. Did he go down on a knee? He went down on a knee, and he I think he thought it. somebody was offsides, but the Aggies were not offsides. He went down on a knee thinking, I think you're exactly right. Yeah. One of the Aggies the jumped, but he was not in the <laughs> neutral zone. Again, Wilson, the lone setback. Motion from Eric Jackson going from the right back to the left. Goes to Wilson. He'll pick up the first down across the 45 to about the 47-yard line. Longhorns with the ball at their 47-yard line. Again, a single setback. Two flankers to the right. They have two tight ends on the lineup. There was movement on the left side by Texas. I think they're going to be caught for offsides here. Uh, they're going to be caught for motion. We'll air that game beginning at uh, 2.15. It kicks at 3 o'clock. Five yards marked off against Texas. Deep pocket Brown. Now starting to move a little bit to his left. Throws caught by Jackson at the Aggie 35 and then run out at the 30-yard line. Split backs behind him at the Aggie 30. Hash mark left. Straight drop, 10-yard pocket. Four step out of the pocket. He's going to run with a football to the 30. Goes out of bounds at the AM 25. You can see above the Aggie band, a lot of maroon and white sticking with us. They want to see the end of this beating that uh, the Aggies are giving to the Longhorns. Second and five at the Aggie 25. Brown takes the snap. Eight-yard pocket. Throws it over the middle. Caught close for a first down near the 20. Caught by Walker out of the backfields. First game of the year will be from the Maui Classic against Arizona State. That'll be on the uh, 21st. Here's a quarterback sneak. Brown caught, spins away. Now he's going to try to drop back and run for it to the outside on his back. James Driver at the 24. They will lose four on the play. And now Texas will have to try a field goal from 42 yards away. Spotted at the 32, and the fans are unhappy about it. They are giving it a sound booing here. They thought they should go for it on fourth down. And they snap the ball. There's a flag down. Wow. The snap hit Chad Lucas right out. in the face. The clock ran out. They ran out of time. It'll be a delay. It'll cost Texas five yards. And that will make it a 47-yard attempt into the wind. All right. So we'll have a 47-yard field goal attempt now. All right. Spotted down at the 37. Angle back to the left for Dawson. Dawson's long of the season has been 50. 
He kicks it, and it's got a lot of distance here. Did he make it? He did. He just kicked a field goal out of 47, 47 yards. yards. 47-yard efforts by Phil Dawson. Has it teed up now. He's going to onside this thing. Here it comes. There it is, and it's a big hopper that will be taken by Byrne at the Texas 48-yard line. Big hopper that went through that first line at the outside the 50. Steve Emerson now will quarterback the Aggies and will hand off to Wilbert Biggins. And Biggins will get a nice carry here across the Texas 45 and a flag down, holding Wilbert, against the Aggies. Wil Todd Matheson, Ryan Curran is out over the ball as the center. Gordon Bauman's a guard. Uh, Ruman's also in there. He's playing the tackle on the left side. Handoff will go to uh, Biggins. Biggins went down on a knee at the 40 and lost a yard as the penalty had moved the ball back across the 50 to the Aggie 41. Second down and 22. Steve Emerson is quarterbacking the ball club. Steve out of Aldean, a senior two letters. Biggins again. Uses a block. There's a flag down behind the play. Apparently another hold against the Aggies. Biggins got it to the 46-yard line on that carry. A&M in the Southwest Conference since uh, 85 is now 64-8-2. and 64-8-2 and two is the exact record. We have 25 seconds. Now it's over. Started the clock. Count it down. So it's over. The Aggies will not have to run another play. Big win here. Coming back from that tie last week against SMU. Now R.C. Slocum has started out to midfield. He'll meet John Makovic at midfield. And time will run out at 6 5 4 there's two, one, and the ball game is over. And the Aggies have beaten Texas again, 34 to 10. They, in the last 11 ball games, are 10 and one against the Longhorns, and they've now won four in a row against the Longhorns. Final score, 34 to 10. Texas A&M over the Texas Longhorns. Stay tuned for the post-game show. This is the Texas Aggie Network.